there's definitely a few positives that we can take out of tonight's game. I mean, you know, the, the style of play, the, the tempo that we brought to the game, the control that we showed within the game, the number of opportunities that we created, not just, you know, shots on goal, but guilt edge opportunities that we put our, our dangerous players in dangerous areas. So that's something to be excited about. And, you know, I think also the ability to learn, because we, you know, we, we talked about some areas of the game in the first half that we exposed ourselves and we adapt and we changed that in the second half and I think we actually got full control as the game went on so there's there's definitely a lot of positives to, to go back and reflect upon. Um, I think anytime you come off the bench is just to bring extra energy and help raise the energy level that's currently on the field. Obviously you don't have to run for quite as long so if you can just go out there and run around and put pressure on their defenders then you hope to turn the ball over and get opportunities going forward. The first thing we do is we always take a look at ourselves. We don't we don't look at anybody else in terms of the referees, the opposition, anything else. We look at what we can control, which is our own performance. And there was just a few little naive moments that we caught ourselves um, where we didn't have a very good defensive shape in transition. So we addressed that. We talked about it. We figured out a way to do it better. And you know, fortunately, there's always going to be transitions in the game. And I think in the second half we learned from that. And during those moments, we were able to recover the ball and and keep the pressure high on uh, Portland's back line. At halftime, we realized that there were like certain pockets of space that we could expose. And so when we came out in the second half, we did a good job at getting the ball forward and creating opportunities. We just had to be sharper in front of goal. Jersey is one of the... Uh one of the most fanatical states in the in the country and we're so blessed to have these fans behind us every single game and you know 2-0 down is a hard position to be in but the fans didn't stop and that means the players don't stop as well because we really truly appreciate what it means to represent these people in New Jersey so we'll continue to do that and we'll continue to see more and more people in the, in the, the stands backing us up and ultimately it'll, it'll propel us into a better place. I think we can learn from the game and realize the ways that we could expose Portland because they're our next game on the road so if we just learn to improve and be sharper in the final third and tr translate our opportunities into goals, then I think we'll do great.